touchdown of their own. Well, I don't think you can get any more efficient or tidy, whatever word you want to use in that, than <laughs> one play, 75 yards in zone. Yeah, efficient, tidy, excellent words. How about explosive? 75 yards, one play. That means everyone handled their assignment, doesn't it? It doesn't just mean that the defense broke down. And all it will be intercepted. Picked off by Christian Fulton. Well, as most teams do in their two-point attempt, they pass the ball. Instead, it gets intercepted. And remember, if you pick it off, you get a chance to take it all the way back at two points yourself, right? Yeah, not the case there, but that's why you got to be really careful with those throws, especially to the outside. Here's Trenton Cannon on the return from his end zone. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. The Titans' offense set to begin the drive. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Look and repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and 10. And he'll lose yardage. Brought down at the 32. So their task a little bit more difficult now. Second and 13 that they're walking up on. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Textbook coverage right there. Played the ball, never lost sight of where it was headed. And stayed in perfect position to make a play on it. Able to keep the receiver and the quarterback in his sight lines. He's got a man complete. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. That's complete to Traylon Burks. Down inside the 10. Touchdown! Traylon Burks, 29 yards, as his guys are able to extend their lead. Bullet good on the extra point, and the lead is up to eight. There's the Titan kick team as they run up and send this one away. Here's McLeod from his end zone. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. There he goes, right side. Touchdown, 49ers. Christian McCaffrey with his second touchdown in this opening quarter. And the Niners are able to strike quickly here as they are in for six. And now this is right in Kyle Shanahan's wheelhouse. He'll go for two here. On the move to his left. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. So now, Charles, two touchdowns, two tries at two-point conversions, and both fail. And you want to say, let's go ahead and run the kicker out there from now on. But the problem is you're chasing points yeah. at this stage. So now you've got to dial up more two-point conversions and hope you're successful from here on out. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result had he opted for the touchback. Yeah. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. From the 29, Willis. And finding the tight end, Hooper. We are in for a good one as we're through one. Come on. 
So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Now Willis on first and 10. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And they're gonna get this up to midfield. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus. And indeed, he gets enough for the first down. He'll rifle this one deep right side. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Nice progress down the field was halted by that incompletion. They could try for some safe yards here to get things moving again or keep throwing it and pushing it downfield to try and pick up bigger yardage. Meanwhile, Willis throw is on target to Burks. Man, this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers 34-yard line. Willis is going to throw once more. As this complete to Woods. And they'll work this down inside the 30. Working with second and five now. They'll go option to the short side. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get 10 here. But I tell you, there is no antidote for speed, even at the quarterback position, as he keeps it himself and turns it into good yardage. And it still takes time for a defender to react, even as quarterbacks carry the ball more and more in today's NFL. They're still a little bit in disbelief and realize, oh my goodness, he's running with the ball. He may be 8, 10, 12 yards downfield at that point. To throw on second and six, Willis. And right side, Henry's got it. And after the broken tackle, couldn't get free for much space, taken down right at the 10. So five yards here, five on the play. And it'll leave him with third and a full yard to go. Willis with it on third and one. Got a man, and it's taken in for a Titans touchdown. Austin Hooper. A beast in the red zone with his second touchdown of the game. And they are able to add on to their advantage. Willis will try and throw for this. And he's going to go down. Can't get rid of it. So a sack on a two-point try. There's the Titan kick team as they run up and send this one away. Here's McLeod from his end zone. And he returns this to the 22. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. It really doesn't get much easier than the last drive. One play, and they took it all the way to the house on the touchdown run. And you know how many times we talk about that's exactly how they drew it up because essentially every play that's drawn up in an offensive playbook, if everyone does their job perfectly, should go for a touchdown, right? That's one that actually did. Give a little credit to those big fellows up front, too. They sprang their man for not only a big game, but six points. And they work this well upfield across the 45. On first down, this is McCaffrey. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Well, that was one of the few times they've been able to contain him thus far. He's over 100 yards for the game, but he lost a bit off his total on that carry. On second and 11 now. Purdy. Throw inside. McCaffrey's got it. And a gain of four gets him right to the midfield stripe. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. And he finds Tyler Croft. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. Here's Purdy on first and 10. He'll get this out wide here to McCaffrey. And he's brought down here just outside of the 20. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this first half. Purdy to throw it on first down. And hauled in by Croft. Now the offense.
defense will burn their third and final timeout. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. Back to throw, Purdy out to his left. And just shy of the goal line as he's out of bounds right at the one. He'll wind up getting right about four there on the scramble, and it's second down. On the ground, McCaffrey, and he'll take this into the end zone for a San Francisco touchdown. Christian McCaffrey on his way to a monster game. Three first-half touchdowns. And the Niners are able to cut into this lead in the final seconds of the first half. A little surprising they wouldn't go for two, but this is up and good. And this is now a one-point game. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. Cannon now elects to bring this out. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Willis back to the air on second and ten. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. And you see the clock almost empty, so this is likely the last play in the second quarter. Last play of the half, Willis. Looking deep downfield. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. It's been a shootout so far. We'll see which defense can make the adjustments as we get back underway in the second half. Very short kick. This will be taken by one of the up men. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. Well, Charles, in that first half, we saw a fair amount of offense on both sides of the football, and now the team trailing here will start with it in the third quarter. And we both know this coach pretty darn well, don't we? Because his game planning is always on point. And now that he's getting the ball to start the second half, how about all the offense that you already referenced in the first half? He'll put that all together and come out with something really strong. And get things going here. 170 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. Again, they run again. It's McCaffrey. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there. And that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play. It was only a three-yard run. But for both sides, they had to walk away from that field. I'm like, okay. Can stand up when the goal gets tough in here. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. Well, this at least is the right idea. I think they've got to get the tight end more involved. He had just one target in the first half, incomplete. Now incomplete here with the first target of the second half. Yeah, should not stop them at all from going back to him. The ball's out. McCaffrey lost it. It's picked up by the Titans. On the move past the 40. Down the sideline he goes. And they're going to bring this one back. A fumble return touchdown.
bitch ass nigga. Ho. Yeah. That's what your ass get. Yeah. Fuck around with him. She was finna get dangerous. She was finna get dangerous. The Super Bowl 52 champions, Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia, PA. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one between the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Philadelphia Eagles. It's an old school battle in the Keystone State of Pennsylvania. The Eagles and the Steelers are underway. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20. All right, come on, bro. Get out of the end zone, not a good one. Since you ain't got a mic, I ain't gonna talk shit, bro. What the Eagles? This is new. They start on the ground here at Sanders. And he almost gets this to the 30, taken down about a yard shy. Just like that, it's a gain of 12 and a first down on their first play. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy is setting the tone early. Running through all types of tackles and put the defense back on its heels. Now first down carry by Sanders, well defensed as they'll hold him to just a couple. Second down coming up. They suspected it was a power play up the middle coming at them. And boy, were they right. That defense got downhill in a hurry and limited them to just a couple on first down. Off the play fake. Here's Hurts. Trying for Brown, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, Miles Jack. And the Steelers are going to take possession of the football. Not something you see very often from the quarterback of his caliber, an opening drive interception. Oh, there's no doubt in my mind that even he's surprised at how that one played out. But we know this guy is not going to stop him from continuing to fire as this game goes along. Probably give a little nod of respect across the field for that one and let him know he'll be back the very next series. He's able to force his way through one man, but he can muster only about a yard on the play. Second down. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Here's Pickett. He'll get this to his tight end. That's Pat Fryer move. And he'll be brought down at the 27. To the air on first down with Pickett. It won't be a sack, but it's no gain, and it brings up second down. The one thing we talked about coming into this was we were never going to question the fight that he's going to have for all four quarters of a game. But ideally, you want him fighting for big plays and first downs early, not fighting just to get back to the line of scrimmage, as we saw right there. Meanwhile, Pickett's throw complete there to Johnson. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. A run with Harris out of the shotgun. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. Pick 
Pick it'll look to throw it here. Quick completion here to Johnson. And the Steelers are going to have a first and goal as the tackle is made at about the five. Great mix of play calling so far. Three runs, three passes. All three passes have been completions. First and goal. I think on defense now, you have to almost take a chance. Rely on your scouting. Pick the play you think they would run here and just load up for it and see what happens. They'll try to run with Harris. And he's going to take it in for a Steeler touchdown. Najee Harris. A touchdown run there from a yard out. And the Steelers take the early turnover and convert it into an opening touchdown. And that caps off what was really a balanced opening drive for them, Charles. They work in the rushing game and the aerial attack, and they end it with a touchdown. Strong in so many ways, wasn't it, partner? Their ability to throw it and run it and accomplish their goal, they've got to like the way that they started this ball game. And the kick makes it through, but flags come flying in as well. It appears we're going to get a roughing call tacked on. And that flag accepted. After the roughing penalty on the PAT, they'll kick off from 15 yards further upfield. It's a squib kick that still makes its way down inside the 15. And yeah, they will wrangle him down a couple of yards shy of the 30. <laughs> Yo, pass the ball, bro. <laughs> Go in the shotgun, bro. Stop doing this, bro. Come on. <laughs> bro, I don't like this shit, bro. It'll be Sanders to begin the drive. And he fights forward for a modest two yard gain, second down. Certainly a nice job there by the defense. I even said I wasn't going to talk shit, bro. The ground, I think the play gets made by the defensive front. Because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes. Stack things. This time for Smith, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, Miles Jack. And partner, I think this is where long-term starters in the NFL separate themselves from the rest of the pack because there's still three full quarters left in this one. More than enough time to move past a pair of early mistakes and find a way to lead your team to a win. Mental resiliency, a characteristic every NFL team's looking for in their quarterback. He's able to work free for about six down to the 18. The last run got six, now second and four. Picking now to throw off the play fake. Good fucking stop. Good fucking stop. Pickett and the Steelers in need of a big play here. Third and long after the sack. He'll drop to throw. That's going to be caught. And in for the Steelers' touchdown. Pat Fryermuth, 27 yards. And the Steelers have taken a two-touchdown lead now. The full team is involved in this game early, aren't they? Go down the field, score on offense, take the ball away on defense, and go right back and score again. You got to like the way that's working for them. That's exactly right. Touchdown, turnover, touchdown, two-score lead. A little bit like you at breakfast this morning. I got to get this in. You had a perfect omelet, dropped it. It's a little bit of a turnover. You went right back, though, and got that omelet and crushed it. Got to do what you got to do. Yeah. Got to do what you got to do. A little worried about your hands, though. Yeah. Well. <laughs> Taken from about the 12. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. Mm -hmm. Let's see here. Bro, go in the shotgun, bro. I'm telling you. You get way more options that way. 
And it's been a miserable start for them offensively. Obviously, two drives, two interceptions. And this is where you have to know your quarterback and know how you actually have to reach him. Do you do it with a little bit of humor? Maybe you break the ice a little bit like, hey, didn't we practice in that color jersey all week, not the one that you're throwing it to? Or maybe you have to be stern with it. But whatever it's going to take to get the message, it has to be done. He's putting the game in jeopardy. From the 28, it's second and five. Hurts a handoff to Sanders. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Exactly what they needed right there, because they needed to use the ground game to take some pressure off, because the quarterback's been struggling a little bit. Scrimmage the 37 on first and 10. Now we talking. Here's Hurts to throw. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Picked up by the linebacker, Miles Jack. And the Steelers are going to take position. To be, I don't know what's going to work for you, bro. Well, this is one heck of an individual performance we're witnessing. That is now his third interception. And keep in mind, folks, this isn't a safety or a cornerback. This is a linebacker. Does this feel to you like he's having a flashback? Because a lot of these linebackers we see in the NFL, in high school, they were offensive stars. They touched the football all the time. It's like he said to himself, let's go back and put on the letter jacket and go get the football. How about this one? Three interceptions thus far. Throwing again on second down. Pickett, pass complete. George Pickens with it. And they're going to get this down near the 35-yard line. First and ten, it's Pickett. And this one too low. The defender certainly didn't forget about him leaking out of the backfield. There was a guy ready and waiting to pick him up in coverage. And that throw had no shot. On second down, this is Harris. And the running lane's non-existent in this first half. As they'll stop him behind the line. Throwing on third down, here's Pickett. Here's Johnson with a reception. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. From the gun, here's Pickett. And he's in. Touchdown, Steelers. Kenny Pickett. An eight-yard touchdown run. And the Steelers have moved out in front by three touchdowns. The defensively didn't seem like anybody had eyes on the quarterback, and he took advantage. So you think that maybe we're seeing some pretty good instincts for a young guy? Because that's the thing you worry about coming out of college. You're used to getting away with just about anything you want to do. You're just superior. Here, he has to read it, figure it out, and know when it's time to go. So with the missed PAT in his rearview mirror, he goes back out to kick this one off. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. Oh, a good return up past the 30. Still going. And it will be an excellent return here all the way down inside the 25-yard line. What a play. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. The safety Terrell Edmonds picks it. And the Steelers are going to get it back here just shy of the 20. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the side. 